don't understand. I need to see Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. My lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad, there must be something I can do. You can call the Archcanon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my... My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh you.
Lander, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. We talked to my brother. Tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. The wise woman. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the Cave of the Incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> my brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the Wise Woman to his cause. Wise Woman Dovrasi the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the Cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. Agreed, but I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the Cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the Wise Woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The caverns to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarine. She won't refuse my claim. Just in case, make sure the Red Exiles are ready. Your word is law, Nerevarine. You helped my sister. Thank you for that. But you don't need to worry about the Red Exiles anymore. They're under my control now. As for everything else, that's Ashlander business. There's no place for an Outlander here. Plotting? No, I'm confident that the False God will fall. Azura has proclaimed this, and I know it to be true. The Tribunal betrayed our hero and turned away from our religion. And they call us heretics. Bah! How overly simplistic the world must be to your eyes, Outlander. I am Nerevar reborn. I will lead my people to power and glory. The wise woman knows this. She will proclaim it when she returns. And no tribunal lapdogs can change that. My sister is too naive and idealistic for her own good. Look at the power I wield. Feel the conviction in my words. While the house elves squabble and fight to carve up our land, the Nerevarian will step forth to end their tyranny. How overly simplistic.
Azura is my shield, you foul creatures. I sense you came for a different purpose. Let's talk inside the cavern. be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, and she says you can help me reach the correct decision. Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed Incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the Incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the Incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala, Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outland. The Nerevarin must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. I take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashland who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian. 
but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerebar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Bardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. Doversi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. Your instincts serve you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunra, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf, and Vivex. Then go, return to Aldrun, and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim, and let Saren assist you. She is my champion, and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall. But beware Chodala's power. He may not be the Nerevarian, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nurn. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. Helping that arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal.